Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do this really awesome vintage TV warp effect. I think. Let's just roll just the intro. How's it going guys? My name is Nick and welcome back to another video. Now yesterday I released a music video for my new song Where Has It All Gone and uh, I thought I'd do like a few tutorial videos where I go over the effects I used in that video. If you want to check it out there'll be a card and a link in the description and I highly suggest you check it out before we watch the video. But there's some cool effects to use and uh, the one I'm going to go over in today's video is how I made this sort of like warped looking vintage VHS TV. It's not very like accurate to what it would actually look like but it looks really cool and uh, I like the aesthetic so without further ado let's get right into the like button if you like this video <laughs> okay let's let's get let's get into it but do hit the like button okay so I'm here in premiere I've got a small little video clip from Paris like literally like a second but it doesn't really matter I'm just going to be demonstrating it now what I did in the music video is I uh, applied the effect to a whole sequence so what you're going to want to do if you want to apply this effect to your entire like edit then you're going to want to select everything I haven't got anything else in here and then you're going to right click everything and then click nest and then it will turn it all into a condensed sequence so that you can apply effects to the sequence and yeah that's basically what I did. I would show you me doing that but uh, the amount of effects that I put on that video um, just recording it would kill my computer. After you've done that you want to go to the effects panel I have mine here it might be in effects for you and you're going to want to search lens distort uh, this not distro lens distortion then you're going to want to come down to video effects distort lens distortion it should be at the bottom depending on how many like effects extra effects you have installed you're going to want to drag this onto your sequence or clip and then you're going to get this in the effects controls panel and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change the curvature of this you can change it inward to make a sort of crazy like warp effects but what we're going to do is we're going to move it a bit outwards and as you can see there's a white border here and we've got a sort of the right shape sort of the shape of how an old curved tv would look we have here now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to uncheck fill alpha and then we have and now it's black and it looks uh, a lot better you can leave it like that if you just want the border but what i'm going to quickly do is add a vhs overlay i found on youtube i'll link it in the description i'm just going to skip through a bit and then I'm going to put that layer on top. Go to option click to delete the audio because we don't there's no audio and we don't want it. And then I'm going to cut it to uh, size. Now it just looks like we've got a little box or something. So we're going to want to go to the scale and we're going to want to scale it up or down depending on what sort of clip you use. Go away creative cloud. It doesn't particularly matter um, about the sort of resolution of the video uh, with the overlay because they're likely not to going to be very high resolution and um, it sort of just adds to the effect if it's like less high resolution so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this so that it covers the screen and then you're going to want to come down to the blend mode and pick a blend mode that works for you now I'm just going to go through and um, look at each individual one and see which one I like the look of best look at that, I quite like this one and then we don't want it on the border so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly nest this clip so that we get rid of any of the excess footage. I'm going to right click and then click nest and just click OK. I'm going to go back to this blend mode again because it got rid of it. I forgot it would get rid of it. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the bottom clip and then you're going to want to go to the lens distortion and you're going to want to copy it. It's either command C or control C depending on whether you're on Mac or Windows. And then you're going to want to go back to your VHS sort of clip and then paste it. Now as you can see this is now warped and on top of the footage. Uh, and you can mess around with this, make it look uh, how you want to. This is just a cool sort of effect I came up with by accident about a year ago and I've been using it ever since. I uh, really like it. So yeah if you still haven't checked the music video out I'd appreciate it. It's in the description and it will be in a card. Um, I appreciate it if you checked it out. I've put a lot of work in and I'm going to be releasing an album in June which uh, stay tuned for. But yeah I know there's quite a few new faces around here uh, ever since the Jack Boys video and the David Dobrik video so um, hi. I don't, I need to upload a bit more. But yeah, that's about it. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.